The 115,000-ton tanker Anafi nimbly noses its way through the Salamis Strait off Athens. The Anafi is only a fifth the size of the largest tankers afloat, but even this ship is too large to dock at one of Greece's largest refineries. The only reason it can do so is that it's sailing with its tanks only a third full, so it doesn't sit low in the water. Ships like this are helping the Greek merchant fleet keep pace with the world economy, in contrast with the Greek economy. Greeks today operate the biggest merchant fleet in the world. More than three and a half thousand ocean-going vessels like this one, carrying 15% of the world's cargo. They generate business worth $18 billion a year at home. That's more than 6% of the Greek economy. But this is a success story written by Greeks, not by Greece. Fewer than a thousand Greek ships fly the Greek flag because that obliges them to employ more Greek crew members, raising costs. And Greece loses out on shipping-related business, such as insurance, supply, shipbuilding and repair. The government wants to concentrate these in a shipping cluster at the port of Piraeus. The owner of the Anafi says Greece used to be closer to to that goal, politicians moved it backwards. In the 80s, we had the, the strongest ship repair um, industry in the Mediterranean. Anybody who would want a, a good job done uh, quickly would come to Greece. Progressively, with uh, overtaxation and uh, with uni unions, and the Communist Party played a very big negative role in this respect. Uh, effectively, the repair zone was destroyed. The state-owned repair zone of Perama is today a dead zone. Some passenger ferries put in, but not the ocean-going fleet. And the handful of men who work here don't make $100,000 a year as they used to. Local unions take a different view of this failure. They draw support from the Greek Communist Party, whose icon is Joseph Stalin and the managed economy. The first and most basic is that there the first and most basic problem is that no government had a strategic plan for ship repair. The second problem is that the repair zone doesn't have the proper tools. Dry docks need reinvestment. Greece does offer ships low taxation, and in recognition of that, ship owners volunteered to double it for three years to help the country climb out of its debt hole. But appeals to their patriotism only go so far. Shipping is lucrative, but it's high risk. To be globally competitive, Greek owners have to shop around. If Greece wants a bigger piece of the shipping pie, it has to follow where the industry leads. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.